Hi, I'm Mac McCarthy, and I help people with their breakups. And this isn't actually going to be a breakup story, but if you have a breakup story you want to share, send it into rightmac.com. I'll take a look at it and maybe make a video just like this. But you also can send an email if you have a question or a topic specifically about breakups or relationships. And if you want me to touch on it and give me a little background of what you mean and what you're suggesting, um, just like this individual. This this guy I did a live coaching session with, I think, I don't know, six to nine months ago. And this was a separate relationship he had a while ago. And he just touched base with me recently and he's in a new situation. So I'll just, he's, he's, he asked if I could make a video about this and I think it is a topic that comes up. So he said, so my girlfriend from France, who I was doing a long distance relationship, he lives in England. She's 21, I'm 23. She said, I love you, but I'm not in love with you. So this is a common statement, right? I'm, I, I love you, but I'm not in love with you. So let's just, let's just unpack this for a little bit. I've mentioned this in other videos. The, the term love or the feeling of love is interpreted by the individual differently. So however they were treated as a kid, however they were treated by their grandparents, by their teachers, um, were they in loving situations, the word love and the feeling of love is actually different for each individual person. Now, people that really get on well and really line up, probably their definition of love is very close. And we even have people that say, I love you all the time. I mean, I have some friends that will be like, I love you, buddy. I love you, Mac. And it's a, it's a buddy of mine that I see two times a year. Now, I wouldn't use that phrase. Uh, when I was a kid, we didn't use I love you a lot. Did, I, did my mom love me? Absolutely. Um, but my mom wasn't very affectionate because that's the way she grew up. Uh, her dad was military. Her dad was a cop. Uh, they had a lot of issues. Her dad was a bad alcoholic. And she just, she just said, like, her family wasn't affectionate. So where I'm going with this, it doesn't mean my mom didn't love me. Uh, but her definition of love was, was doing good things where you take, you know, you know, taking you to your basketball practice or, you know, picking you up from school, making sure you got dinner, doing laundry, stuff like that. Where someone else would be like, oh, God, you know, like, your mom never gives you a hug. It's just the way she was raised. So... What are, where I'm going with all the love thing, first of all, the I love you means something to her differently than it means to you. If you take, you know, for me in a relationship, because I don't use that word very often, because I didn't use it a lot when we were kids, we wouldn't say like, I love you, mommy. I love you, daddy. When I was a kid, I know other people, they say it all the time because that's the way they were raised with it. It's a word associated with a feeling. Now, the way you associate it with that feeling is up to you, but it also is based on how you've had relationships in the past. Now, the idea of I'm not in love with you, in love means when you got that, when you're in a relationship and you're in love with someone in a relationship, that means the volume's turn, cranked all the way to the top for attraction, connection, and trust. But connection and trust are really cranked up. I'm so in love with you. It means, it means it's, it's like you're spun. Um, and I think, I believe, I should, I should change that statement. I use the word I think a lot. I believe that people that are in relationships for 10, 15, 20, 25 years, even in the best relationships, they're, not, they're never fully in love 24-7. Does that make sense? Being in love is... It's almost this infatuation for a time period in the, in the honeymoon phase. But in good relationships, it comes and goes more often, right? And in some really special relationships, people are able to keep that feeling of being in love for a long, long period of time. Now, when people take breaks or they separate and then they get back together, there's a time period where they're not in love. But that doesn't mean that being in love cannot be regenerated at some point if both people care about each other. Now... This guy had a follow-up email actually talking about some of this, this girl's issues. And basically, he wrote, she's going through a lot of things with her family. She's got a, a father that's an alcoholic. Her mother's miserable. And she doesn't really care about her. So she's got some major family issues to, to deal with. 
And that tells me right there, and she's young, she's uh, in her early 20s. She's going through a lot of things with her father who is an alcoholic and her mother who is miserable and doesn't really care about her. So how is she gonna be in love with you when she's having issues with the two people that she loves probably most in the world who taught her everything about love? Because when someone's in a relationship and they feel in love and they feel like their partner's a really good partner and they do everything right, it's uncomfortable because they're used to constant drama in their family. And their association with love involves drama. It involves, you know, dealing with an alcoholic parent. It involves being on your toes and wondering when, when things are going to go wrong. That's another part of it, too, that's really hard is when things are going really good and you were raised in a family where things went really bad a lot of times, you're waiting for the other foot to drop. So it's not fun to be in love. You almost feel like, yeah, this isn't going to last, so I better get the exit doors because I don't want to get dumped. I don't want to be here. I don't want to get hurt. So they're always, they're always defending their heart. I'm getting a little deep on this, but you know where I'm going with it. So bring it back. I love you, but I'm not in love with you. This can mean de different things to different people, but we have to go to the point where what does it mean? What does it mean to the individual to say I love you? What does it mean to the individual to be in love? And they might not even they might not even know the answer to that question until they really unpack it themselves. And all that is based on their past experiences. Right? If you're born if you're born and you start using words when you're two years old, three years old, you're taught the word love, and then over the years you're taught what love means the definition, right? So the fact that she's got parents that have a lot of problems and she's still dealing with those problems at 21, that's an uncomfortable time period to deal with that because at 21, you're going through a lot of changes. You're thinking about your job. You're maybe at a university level. You're in a relationship with someone uh, for the first or second time in your life. You haven't been in a relationship for 10, 15 years. It might be a year, two years. There's all these different things going on in your life and then you still have to deal with your parents. I mean, to be really candid with you, my parents have been together for 47 years, I think it is, 48 years. Everyone, oh my God. Well, they've had, they've had their issues, they've had their problems. I'm not going to get all into that right now, but at some point when I was in my 20s, they were going through some problems and I was, I was you know, getting involved and, and then I thought to myself, you know what? I don't have to deal with it anymore. I can, I can, you know, I told my mom, I said, you know what, whatever you decide to do in, in the marriage or, you know, if you want to leave or you want to go, I said, I'll support you. Uh, but I don't have to be around and be a witness to it or be in the same house because I have somewhere else to go because I'm grown. I don't have to be around that anymore. This is another adult situation that they're dealing with and they have to go through on their own. And I don't have to be on the sidelines and play referee or worry about what's going to happen next because it's not my responsibility. I'm an adult now. And that's where she's got to go. At 21 years old, she's got to say to herself, all right, I got to let go of what's going to happen with my parents because I'm 21. I'm growing up. I'm an adult now. I got to start looking out at how I can grow and how I can maybe get in a healthy relationship. So I hope, I hope that helps you. I went all over the place on this all over the place. I was all over the place on this one because I didn't write anything about it. I usually kind of set something up for this. Uh, but, but really have a think about that for yourself. Uh, what does I love you mean to you? And what does being in love with someone mean to you? What is the definition to you? And then ask yourself if your partner or maybe even your past partners has their definitions lined up with yours. Have a think about that. I hope that helps you. Please visit rightmac.com if you've got a breakup story to tell. Or if you have a question you want to send in, like this guy, like a short topic that you think is kind of compelling and something that comes up a lot with other people, send it in. Thank you for supporting the channel.